What does it mean to dream about blood? Now, I know that I have made it clear that I will no longer be doing dream interpretations because all of you have the Holy Spirit and Holy Spirit is so amazing. And if you um, ask him for understanding and wisdom of your dreams and your visions, he will assist you in that. But I'm also aware of the babies in the body of Christ that need some assistance. And these questions coming up a lot, a lot. And also another person that I've known for years did not know this basic knowledge. So I'm going to um, help you understand this basic knowledge. And hopefully this can assist you in interpreting your own dreams with the guidance and the direction of the Holy Spirit. What does it mean to dream about blood? So life is in the blood, all right? And the scripture for that is Leviticus 17 verse 11. And it says this, I'm going to read it verbatim. For the life of the flesh is in the blood and I have given it to you upon the altar to make atonement for your souls. For it is in the blood that makes atonement for their soul. So God is telling the people of Israel, life is in the blood. I've given you the blood upon the altar to make an atonement for your soul. Now we are in the new covenant and the blood that we partake in is the blood of Jesus Christ. So basic knowledge, basic kingdom knowledge here that I want you to retain and implement is this. When you hear blood, think life. Life is blood. Blood is life. So blood is symbolic of life, all right? The symbol of life. Now, in the medical field, if somebody is bleeding, the first course of action is stop the bleeding. And then if they need or they're showing signs of having lost too much blood, we actually give blood transfusions, all right? So life is literally in the blood physically and in the spiritual realm, all right? So knowing that life is in the blood is important for you and important for me. The symbol for life is blood. The blood of an animal is in, the, the life of an animal is in the blood. The life of my life is in the blood. Your life is in the blood. The life of Christ is in the blood of Christ, which is why we plead the blood of Jesus Christ. We use the blood of Jesus Christ. We partake in the blood of Jesus Christ. When we take Holy Communion, we are taking in the blood of Jesus Christ symbolically. And by that action, we are partaking in his blood. We are partaking in his life. Life is in the blood life is symbolic of the blood of jesus the blood of the person the blood of the animal okay so if a dream is showing blood being shed it could mean that blood was shed life was shed life was taken a life was taken right so bloodshed life was taken such as abel abel's life was taken by cain and so cain is Cain thought that the earth would not tell on him, but the earth actually records when blood is shed. And so the earth was basically a witness of what happened and Abel's blood was crying out for justice from the earth, all right? Um, and God confronts Cain concerning the bloodshed, Genesis chapter four. Now, also God asks, Abram to bring five animals and slaughter them so they will come into covenant with each other. So blood is needed for covenants to take place, which is why it goes back to Holy Communion is the covenant between God and us. It required Christ dying for us to come in covenant with God. All right. Another thing is Eating blood means eating life. So when we eat Holy Communion, we're eating the life of Christ. We're eating life, all right? Another dream that is occurring a lot is um, um, people saying that they're seeing themselves 
bleeding out every so often from menstruation. They're having menstruation dreams, lots and lots of dreams menstruating. Now that is showing that you're losing life, right? But in this case, because you're sleeping and you're spiritual, your, your spirit is experiencing something as your physical body is resting, you are losing spiritual life. So what can happen here is you just don't have the, the zeal to pray. Like you feel drained. You can't pray. You can't uh, fast. You just can't really engage spiritually. But every so often, your dreams show that you're losing blood. Okay? Now the womb is not just for bearing children. It's also for bearing spiritual gifts. Uh, ministries okay and so when you're losing blood regularly in the dream menstruating in the dream it's showing that you're losing spiritual life so that person would be spiritually weak spiritually defeatable because they are losing sustenance you are losing spiritual life all right remember life is in the blood the symbol for life is blood including in the spiritual realm so if you're losing blood in the spiritual realm you are losing spiritual life you are losing vitality you are losing the strength okay so i hope this blesses you um yeah remember leviticus 17 11 life is in the blood and also remember that the blood of jesus christ is the blood the only blood that can cleanse us okay so whenever you have to address things like this use the blood of jesus christ to cleanse you from all sins to purify you to purge you to refine you it's the blood of jesus christ because it's the blood that has that is the strongest of all blood right blood is a currency in the spiritual realm life is in the blood and to add on here please make sure you do not partake as a child of God in any consumption of dishes that contain blood of animals or whatever. Refrain from that. God bless you. I hope this blesses you. Bye.